Today is a beautiful day and it's the right day to start doing tortellini. Hello, welcome back to my kitchen. Today we are going to make the filling for tortellini. The ingredients you need are um, pork loin, mortadella bologna, parmesan cheese, parma ham, egg, milk and a sprinkle of uh, nutmeg. This one. Uh, the filling, you have to cut all this in bed in pieces. Uh, I use it to uh, put it through this machine, which is a multi food grinder, or otherwise, you can use this simply using a food processor like this. The first thing you must do is to cook the pork loin with milk. I will put all the quantity of the ingredients at the, uh, just underneath the video. You need to peel the skin out of mortadella bologna and then cut it in bits. As you can see, in bits like this one. Little cube. So for the grinder would be easy. We do exactly the same with the parmesan, parmesan cheese and this is the parma ham chopped in cube. Here is the loin getting cooked. While the loin is getting cooked, we can start grinding all the ingredients we've chopped before. Now we grind the pork. To take all the meat out of the machine, you can use some bread crumb. As you can see, quite a good sparkle of nutmeg.
Now we mix everything together. I add the egg. And a drop of milk. Now the filling of tortellini is ready. I put it in the fridge because I need to get pasta ready to make tortellini. I've covered it with the kitchen film. Now it goes into the fridge. Well, now we are to the second step to make tortellini. We need to make a fresh pasta. This time I will show you how my mother used to make uh, sfoglia. We have to use uh, um, durum wheat semolina flour mainly and then plain flour. Uh, don't use self-raising flour. There is no uh, yeast in this flour. It's only plain flour. So let's start it. We make a hole in the middle like a vulcano. And we are going to break in the eggs. Good enough if they go, don't go into the flower, into the floor. Sorry.
Um, now the pasta is nice and smooth, as you can see, and it's ready to be rolled with the rolling pin. This is uh, my family rolling pin, actually, uh, from my aunt. Give it another little bit of a twist. This is the movement you should do. Push with the, this part near the wrist, like this. Once in a, upon a time, <laughs> my mother used to roll all the pasta and it was coming a great big sheet of pasta. Then we were all making tortellini together, there were about uh, three or four of us. But since now I'm alone and the pasta gets dried up, I only take a bet out of it about uh, 50 60 grams and the rest to avoid to get dry I put it in a transparent kitchen film like this Put a bit of flour so pasta won't stick. stick to the wooden pin I try to make it wide as much as this one that I used to cut the pasta these are three centimeter so that means it will come squares of three centimeters by side when I will go in to cut um, the pasta. Which is just about the length of the machine, the electric machine to thin the pasta. I've used it last time, the rolling pin. Since when you work, you haven't got much time. You have to do things the quicker you can. Actually, my mom is very old because now is 90, 93 year old, old, was very quick in doing this work
see now you can see nearly you can see through is quite thin is enough thin to be used to make tortellini I don't know it would be not even a millimeter thick in the in this machine I put it down to the um, thinner number of uh, um, thickness which is number nine with this one <coughs> okay now we are ready to cut tortellini This one and this one. These are bad which are not used because they're not squares so we take them out and we put it together with this one so they can be used put them aside so they won't dry and here we go now we put the filling which I forgot to take out of the fridge and it's quite hard this is about the quantity you need to put in each square 3 cm by side Now we start making tortellini. So the simple way you need to put corner like this and you make a triangle hope and then you join the two corners and pull up this one. This is the easiest way but the quickest way is this one. Close it very firmly and then Turn it and twist it. You close it, joining one corner to the other, like this. Then you put it around your finger, you close it, squeezing, and pull up this corner, like this. Then, the way I do it is in all in one movement you do everything. So, you close it like this, then the right corner, this one, you take it this way and you turn it and twist it around the finger, like this and tortellino is ready I'll show you again you twist it and turn it around the finger and here is tortellino it does look like Neville of Venice, doesn't it? Now, first tray is ready, so now I put it in the deep freezer. I will let them freeze this way and then afterwards I will put them in a bag 
so they won't stick one to the other and they, I will easily take them out the quantity I need. Now tortellini are frozen so I'll put them in the bag. As you can see the stock is boiling so now we are going to cook tortellini. Since uh, there is five of us today I've weighted 750 grams of tortellini. As you can see now tortellini are cooked, they all come up so they are ready to be put in the plates. Now I've dished tortellini, since my kids love it with double cream, this is the plate for my son and these are our plates with stock ready to be eaten. <laughs>